Vanderbilt length is just so special in the way that it, it complements Patrick Beverly. Towns knew that was good the second he released oh, yeah. it. Beautiful rotation. 3.5% from the field and, and 3%. Oh my goodness, Vando did it again. He takes it away from Grant and goes the distance for the stuff. <laughs> Just getting into the fake. Beverly hits Edwards and Ant connects. So five straight points for Ed. This is the largest lead of the game for Detroit. Beasley out of the corner. It's a long two. His foot was on the line. Killian Hayes has played better for the Pistons coming off the bench. He was their starter, and now he's coming off the bench, doing a better job. What a play by Malik Beasley to get his hand in the passing lane. And Beasley showing off the dunk. That was pretty good athleticism right there. Best man. player on the floor tonight for Detroit. He's got 11. CD Bay's got 11 as well. Beasley hits on the three. That time the foot was behind the line. He got. He's locked in right now. He's got tied by Nas Reed. He showed and then got back, and Vanderbilt getting a little layup himself, and Jordan McLaughlin getting the dime here. Jared Vanderbilt leads the Timberwolves in dunks. Beverly drills the triple. Great ball movement, great sharing of the basketball. Everybody did the proper. Put it up and in. Prince for three. Torian has been so clutch. Six of nine. I can't imagine all the conversations we could love. Beverly gets up ahead of steam. Isaiah Stewart might have taken a shot in the groin area. He's kind of... Don't touch him, Pat. Don't touch him, Patrick. Patrick Beverly, is he's flirting with, with getting himself a quick take the final shot. Beverly splits between the defenders. Torian Prince out of the corner. And Torian delivers! King me out of the corner for the Prince to end quarter number two. And the Wolves get it back to just a two-point game going into the locker room. Two four. Sixth year in the league for Magruder. Edwards! <laughs> that was really fancy right there. That was a Edwards. And Anthony Edwards now with 10 in the quarter. And the Timberwolves back in front. He's just slicing people up, man. He is just getting to the rim at will. Beasley out of the corner, and he connects from outside. Third triple of the game for Beasley. Trap happens, and he can't deliver an accurate pass. J-Max says, give me the basketball back. I'm going to set a cat for a feast. Oh, J-Mac, I love you. This is so timely, man. Need him to be, I'm not even saying 40%. Torian escape dribble for the three, and of course it goes in. He's making everything right now. Poked away from Stewart. It seems like the Wolves have forced more turnovers than they have in this game. As Malik Beasley dropped a dime that time. He is the one who came off, Anthony wow. Edwards. They're gonna call it an Ant one right yes, here. Yes, they are, and the crowd not liking it. They thought Ant should have been called for a charge. Well, Anthony Edwards, that was something to see, the way that he was attacking Frank Jackson in transition. And it's a tough call for Corey Joseph, but he kind of is at the angle and is kind of moving as Ant is creating the contact, so it's a good call by the official. Dwayne Casey talking it over with his bench, whether or not he should challenge his bench. And Towns takes the basketball away. Beverly has Joseph to beat. Corey Joseph is going to foul Patrick Beverly here. Dwayne Casey still have a timeout if you're Detroit. They will let him beat the Brooks picks the clock. Beverly and Patrick Beverly with the